Now at noon on the day after the State of the Union, Vice President Mike Pence is in Philadelphia and traveling with him a special guest, a local student honored by the president during last night's address. The Vice President is here to celebrate freedom in education. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Jim Donovan. And I'm Janelle Burrell. This is Eyewitness News at noon, now also streaming on CBSN Philly. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed is live at St. Francis de Sales School in University City with more on the Vice President's visit and the fourth grader who is from our area who made the trip with him. Alicia. Secretary of State Betsy DeVos just took the stage. She's speaking right now. The VP is expected to take the stage at any moment. He made his way here from Washington, D.C. earlier this morning, and he is expected to speak at any moment. One special guest that flew on Air Force Two today is Philadelphia fourth grader Janaya Davis, who was awarded a scholarship to the school of her choice at President Trump's State of the Union address last night. She was spotted greeting the VP with her mom and presumably siblings as they made their way back to Philadelphia aboard Air Force Two. We're hoping to find out more about Janaya, but what we know right now is that she loves art and math and has, according to the White House, been assigned to low-performing schools. Her mom, Stephanie, is a single mother that wants school choice expanded so her daughter can attend a school that best serves her. She's now grateful for the opportunity and has Janaya on a waiting list. She was on a waiting list for a scholarship. Both President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence support school choice in Pennsylvania schools, but not everyone feels the same. There has been increasing controversy surrounding school choice. Protesters started lining up early outside to rally against Pence's visit, saying the Pennsylvania public school system is underfunded and money needs to be allocated into the system, not taken out for private schools. I get the VP is expected to speak at any moment and after his speech he will then be heading to Harrisburg PA for a women's rally supporting President Donald Trump. Reporting live from University City, Elise Reed, CBS3 Eyewitness News.